That's a lot more than I thought. Good thing I have my friends here to help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it looks like it's time to go. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> <sighs> I think it's gonna take longer to unbox everything than put together. Cause there's not really much that we have that I think we need to put together. Echo bikes, a yoke, and then the arm that, things. That thing. that thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. You'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to slowly start rearranging. Got like a 4,000 pound rogue order coming today. All the new toys. So like the best day of the year. Rogue stipend, <laughs> spend it all in one go <laughs> and get all the new toys. So trying to figure out, got a bunch of metal plates um, and a couple more like, I, I don't have 15 pound plates. That wasn't like a priority when I started trying to like build everything out. That fits perfect. You can almost scoot that one pin over. That one pin over. Just will it fit? Yeah. It fit and then trying to figure out where it's all gonna go. I'm actually starting to kind of run out of plate storage, but I got five pairs of 45s, metal ones, thin ones and then two pairs of hundreds. Uh, be nice for like deadlifts, kind of Jesse session stuff. Be nice to leave some on the reverse hyper so you don't have to stack a bunch of 45s on to get to 300 plus pounds. Um, like I said, ordered some 15s. Like when we do like some of those open workouts where it's 75 pound snatches, I don't have like 10s and fives. I mean, you drop them, the 10s like kind of bend. 15s are a little bit more durable, so. That's the plan. Shipment should be here. They said between 12 and 3. I don't know what time it is. It's like probably 12.30, 12.39. So hopefully it gets here soon. But moving some stuff around, got some new barbells coming. Make space for those. And let the fun begin. Is that a new lens? It's a different lens, yeah. Different lens? Do I look better in it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It help you maybe we can lift uh, as you go or just pivot out more to where I can get yeah. more for stuff open and tell you what it is and you just take well, it you can you see it monster trolley standard here you want me to take it out of box what is it it's the box spot that's what i was showing you oh yeah inside freaking the uh, 92 kilo turn three pound kettlebell Big. <laughs> That's tight. 
How much is that? Two hundred. I'm gonna send it to my dad. <laughs> Here, do you wanna maybe grab this side? I got this side. You can walk mm -hmm. sideways, like pretty easily. <laughs> yeah. Moment of truth and go yeah, see the pits. Yeah, you can sit a little bit more upright. <laughs> 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 oh, we got his back, man. Hey, hey y'all. Yeah. Yeah, nope. No. Damn. Oh, pits. <laughs> oh, wow. Sick. That's so tight. Hey, what's, what's right before too far? Perfect, baby. I don't know why it's so tight. Woo! <laughs> yeah! That looks sick. <laughs> Those are sick. Dude, they're so badass. They're so thin. Guys better not be scratching anything. <laughs> Shit. I know. He's really going to slit your throats. Hold it. It's 25 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hell no. This gym is a mess. Yeah, whoever owns this place is going to be pissed off. Justin's skin is just crawling, like, waiting to get everything cleaned up. Yeah. <laughs> he moves anything after the vacuum. Almost there! Are we done yet? Yeah, trying to get it till it looks like I didn't get anything. That's the goal, is have everything that organized. But, it's been good. Got two new Echo Bikes built. You guys saw, I probably posted on my Instagram like a week ago now that uh, I'm selling two Echo Bikes. I had a bunch of people reach out, which was a little overwhelming. I thought like maybe a couple people, which was awesome. And then I told two people they could get it. And I was not smart and like screenshotted that DM, the two people that I told. So hopefully I can go back and find it because there was a lot, but um. If you guys watch the channel and it's you, message me <laughs> again so I can figure out who you guys are. Cause we got the two new Echo Bikes, got those built, ready to kind of get rid of those other ones. And that's about it. That's pretty much the whole Rogue Order. I got two West Side machines, uh, a leg extension and a hamstring developer, but it's like new from Rogue. They haven't, um, I don't even think like started manufacturing them yet. It's kind of like the blueprint on the site, but you can still buy them. So I got them, it said 12 to 14 weeks out. So those won't come for a while, but I got everything else. Those two things are going to go upstairs. So I won't take up any room out here. And then Zach's freaking <laughs> moving the kettlebells now. We'll probably end up moving those a bunch more times until I can figure out a place that I'm happy with. <laughs> but, uh, it's sweet. I'm so pumped. Like he, That's not even a big one. Hey, <laughs> you're like, hey, 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 give me the green one, dog. Yeah. What green one you <laughs> want? Hey, which green one you want, bro? You just don't really understand. You can't truly yeah, understand, yeah, baby. You know what I mean? This thing's big, baby. This is not even the big one. The red one is crazy. Yeah. Well, I know that Justin's just gonna be out here all night. Yeah. All night. In here. Moving stuff around, cleaning so shit. Like it. <laughs> moving it, then removing it, then moving it again. Well, what did you just do to your eggs? <laughs> Put tomato sauce on him. Uh, ketchup. Tomato sauce. Ketchup. <laughs> what do you think of when you hear tomato sauce? Ketchup. Really? Yes. I hear like, I think of like, um, yeah, like so you're the sauce. weird one. Like marinara sauce? Yeah. You're the weird one, not I think me. that is like sauce. I don't know. That's bolognese sauce. That's the people. But that's, isn't that just with meat in it? Mm. Bolognese? Yeah, isn't that with like the red sauce with meat? Two peanut butter and jellies. What a guy. What a guy.
Just some brekkie time. Then what are you gonna do? Max effort upper. In the brand new shred shed. Hey. <laughs> Literally, you can't even tell any like we got anything. Like you walk in there, I'm like, dang. Except for the kettlebells against the yeah, the kettlebells in the back. You can kind of know. It looks like we just got heavy kettlebells and then those arms. Other than that, you can't really tell. The yoke's on the side. The alpaca's on the side. I built that stuff last night. I couldn't sleep knowing it was out there. <laughs> Sup, homies? Here's your toys. All the new toys? Okay. It actually doesn't look like we got much, which is cool, but not cool. <laughs> so, start out with like the big thing. Um, I don't know what these are called on the rogue site. Hammer arms? We're gonna go with what Ellie said, hammer arms. Hopefully that's right. But if you guys haven't seen these, they're freaking unreal. So you got a pin on it for kind of safety, but you gotta hold the handles and you can pull these pins out and slide it for any side you want. You can put it all the way down to the ground and keep the arms out even, lower that all the way down, do deadlifts with them, uh, pretty much anything. So I've never seen them, I've never done them. So it's gonna be fun just to kind of mess around with it, kind of see how it kind of fits into training, what we like doing with it, kind of mess around with a little bit of everything, but Rogue really thought of everything. There's a little key on it where you can lock this in for you. Let me see where I'm going here. So now these don't move and you can still use this part as a squat rack. So you can just slide this off if you want this on, if you don't want this on anymore and you can still use this upright as an up rack. And I saw a video of it, of what's it called? Um, what's the, why am I, am I blanking on the squat rack that falls away? What's it called? The monolift. So someone took these off had J cups on it and they're doing bench press and they just kind of had it out here and then they lifted the bar off and it just swung back and it was pretty much like a mono lift for bench, which I thought was super cool. So anyways, I'm excited to kind of add it on. I mean, we've, you guys obviously seen the gym. It's insane all the things that we have and this rogue order was like, all right, like how can we just kind of get some little things to make training better without taking up more room and kind of try that stuff on the rogue site where normally you're like, okay, I can't justify getting that. But uh, this kind, this time was just like, all right, send it. We got some uh, little dumbbell change plates. Uh, I don't have like eight or 12 pound dumbbells, but now that we have these little um, like change plates for the dumbbells, you can kind of hit some of those plates in between, especially when you're, yeah, Ellie found that spot. <laughs> oh, I love it there. And especially when you're doing like delt raises and stuff, you're staying relatively light um, on the dumbbells. And if you want to do sets increasing, sometimes like a five pound jump when you're only at like 15 or 20 pounds is a big percentage increase. So you can kind of use those to kind of still increase in weight uh, without like going up a full five pound jump, but uh, gotta remember everything that we got. I got a couple more kettlebells just so I have all road kettlebells now. Just so it looks clean, I had like a 155 from another company and then a 55 or 50 pound, sorry, dumbbell from uh, Rogue. So now it looks pretty when we do it all. So I got the Rogue hex bar. Look how perfectly it fits. I thought it was gonna hit the wall. It just barely misses it. It's like Rogue knew what they were doing when they built this place. So I got that bar. Also got the Tsunami bar. I actually know really nothing about it. I've never used one. I don't know anyone that's ever used one, but from what I've heard, it's kind of like a plate loadable uh, bamboo bar. So um, there's like three different versions of it. And I think they're scaled from like beginner to advanced. And this is the one in the middle. 
And there's like, I think they're scaled by weight you can use. So I think the lightest one, you, you can't really go more than like 200 pounds. That one, you can't go more than 275. And then the big one, I think, is all the way up to 500 pounds. So I'm going to be using it a lot for pressing. Obviously, if you want it for like squat and stuff like that, you'd probably want to get the big one. But I'm going to test it out. If I like it, I'll probably get the two other ones. So we'll Justin, see. Justin, you missed something. The back widow. No. What did I miss? Oh, the squat. Yeah. The box squat. What is the freak? So... I'm not gonna get it out, but we also got a box, um, like an adjustable box for, um, we do a lot of box squats with, with Jesse stuff. We normally use the Rogue crash pad, which is 12 inches. And then if we wanna go higher than that, we have to stack plates, measure it, make sure it's right. And the box is a little soft, so sometimes you can kind of feel yourself kind of sink into it where it's nice just gonna have a solid platform. So got the actual box for it so you can adjust different heights and really have like a solid place to go so it's gonna live right there but I'm try it out and not only that, it's like you know that box is low profile so in the event you had somebody like back squatting or something like that somebody could theoretically be behind <laughs> with that box just in case the person wasn't able to stand the back squat up you know what i mean <laughs> Dallas, you know what I'm talking about, bro? We can show a demo video if you want, Dallas. We'll put it, we'll put it right here somewhere, a little demo video. It's like 30 seconds of it. It's pretty good. Uh, you guys forget who edits those things. <laughs> Just looking through the Rogue site, looking at anything I thought was cool and uh, different that I've never seen. So I saw this on there. It's called the Back Widow. I don't really know exactly all the different variations it has, but obviously you can change these handles from narrow to wide and same thing down here. So you can really change all the directions. But the thing that was cool about it is as the little hook so you can do lat pull downs with it, rows with it, but it also has a cutout for a barbell so you can slide it on for a bar and do rows and stuff with it as well. So something kind of use for everything. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I obviously have a bunch of attachments for the lat pull down and doing uh, like landmine stuff where this is kind of one thing. So instead of having, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different attachments for the lat pull down. This is just kind of a one and done one where you can kind of hit a lot of different variations with just one kind of attachment, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, you yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Ellie was the one that found this. It was pretty excited. So, no, oh, I know, I know, but you got to describe yeah. it. Well, it's called the back widow uh -huh. because it works your back and it looks like a black widow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, it looks like a black widow. Where's its eyes? Huh? Where's its eyes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, its eyes are right here. Do oh. black widows have a lot of eyes? I don't know. I'm not actually familiar with the black widow. Oh, More, I, I, also, you, I thought you were the expert in this situation. <laughs> I'm an expert on spiders because I'm from Australia. That's exactly. It's like a redback. It's like a redback spider. They're deadly. Help me now. <laughs> Come on. This thing is actually really hard to adjust. All right, so next thing, we've got two new Echo Bikes. Uh, remember at semifinals last year, the monitors were a little bit different. I know it's probably a super small change, but I really just do the best I can to kind of train on what we're going to be using in a competition, and my Echo Bikes were a little outdated. So. Got two new ones, like you guys saw, I am selling the other two in the process of it. I had a bunch of people reach out, thanks again to everybody. Um, but those are in the side bay now. And then as behind it, I finally got some super heavy kettlebells <laughs> that are ridiculously big. I feel like the video doesn't justify it, but we pretty much got 200, 150, and 100 pound uh, kettlebells now, which they might just sit there forever and I might never use them, but I'm ready. And I just remember like looking back at some of the past games events and like seeing the showdown between like Ben Smith and 
like Matt Frazier when, when Ben won uh, his first games. And just like doing like the heavy kettlebells, um, like deadlifts. I mean, that's pretty much all you can really do with the 200. Do some farmer carry, stuff like that. Especially when we do some sled stuff outside instead of loading like four 45s on, I can just set one of those kettlebells on. Not super practical, but I want to make sure I have everything. And especially when we come games time, when we're training for the games, uh, this setup is the most ideal. We can do kind of some of those weird events that you see at the CrossFit games that it's hard to do in an everyday gym just because the implements are so like unusual, like heavy sandbags, yokes, just kind of some of those things that you don't normally see. But uh, anyways, that's that. Got these 100 pound plates. I got two pairs of them. Uh, for reverse hypers and stuff, we normally start at 200 pounds. It's very rare that we go lighter than that. And with these uh, high temp plates, the metal on them makes like a screeching noise. So it's nice to have metal plates the kind of load on there. The hundreds are nice, especially if we're gonna max out deadlift and stuff like that. Put those in the middle and uh, when you lift as much as Dallas and me, you know, I need those big plates. <laughs> also here we got a bunch of, we have 10 45s, super thin. Um, honestly, I'll grab, I'll scrap out the 25. But man, dude, like this 25 is the same size as the 45. They're honestly super awesome, especially, um, doing like the, on the reverse hyper because we can't go like especially with these big 55s and stuff they're so wide that you can't stack a lot of them on there and these just look really cool i mean that's probably the main reason why i got them getting a leg extension and a hamstring developer machine uh they're not available yet on rogue i mean they're on the website i bought them but they haven't been manufactured yet or at least i think because it says 12 to 14 weeks out those are going to go upstairs most of these plates will probably end up being up there just so we don't have to load plates up and down. Um, I got some GORUCK plates for my, my back because normally I'm like stepping 10 pound plates in there. So I got a 20, 30, and 40 pound uh, ruck plate. And then over here, I got the Matador, which this one was pretty awesome. You can adjust the width of it from obviously like super narrow to a lot wider. I think I could just put it right in the middle because that was the same as the normal uh, Matador. But the thing that's awesome about these is like they adjust super easy. I mean, you can just grab it, twist it off, pull it out, and then put it on wherever you want, which is super cool. They don't need like a tool or anything like that just to adjust it, which I thought was pretty awesome. All right, we got two more things. I remember something. He forgot something. I got these little, uh, oh, that's so good. yeah, I'm actually super excited about these. We do a lot of like banded hamstring curls. Um, but yeah, these just kind of attach on your ankles and you can attach like your bands and stuff to them. Uh, I also like saw on the site that you can attach them to the lat pull down, do leg extensions and stuff with it, which obviously you can just kind of slap your freaking ankle inside the band, but it kind of pulls on it, especially when you like pull straight, the band kind of wants to fall off. So it'll be sweet to have this. I've never done leg extensions with the uh, lat pull down or anything, so excited to try that out. But like I said, just trying to add the little things, you know? Still a little dirty from yesterday because I didn't finish cleaning it up, but I got that alpaca sled from the games, um, which is just something that I think will be fun to kind of have around in training. We've seen it two years now, so I think it's something that can come up again. I think the style of workout that you can do with it is just pretty unique. I think everyone likes watching it. You can kind of advance down the field, carry weight in it. I don't know how much I've talked about it, but I'm getting turf all the way out from the bay door all the way out to the fence. So that's going to be a whole turf lane where we can do a lot of those game style workouts out. So super pumped about that. That's going to be here in a couple weeks. Um, it's from Shaw Grass, if you guys are wondering. They also have indoor turf, which I'm putting upstairs for a kind of like a nice little recovery area. Still train on it. Um, it's good for like barbells, everything. Um, and then obviously they have the outdoor turf, which is super cool. It's going to be customized. You guys have no idea how excited I am. And then I just got a rogue yoke. I've had this old yoke from probably when I first started CrossFit. It was like my first rig that rig, I guess that I had. I want something I can do everything with. There's a pull up bar on it. Obviously uses a squat rack, had a yoke, um, kind of met a little bit of everything, but I wanted the rogue yoke. Rogue obviously makes one of those too. Um, but I've had that old one. 
we've seen the yoke a handful of times at the games and wanted to get the one that we we compete on you know so got that also it's just like the uh i forgot what it's called on the rogue site but it's just the squat rack that they have and you can buy the conversion kit to make it into a yoke so if you already have a um squat rack from rogue they make conversion kits for it that can switch it um into a yoke as well which i think is pretty cool especially when you have a home gym and you're trying to kind of make everything fit it's kind of nice having a couple things that do a bunch so i think that was it that's all the things it's not as cool as i guess you guys probably thought there's a bunch of freaking pallets we had five pallets and that's all it was like i said this home gym has been a dream come true. Always adding it. It's crazy the amount of things. Rogue always coming out with new toys and stuff. So I'm sure I'm always going to find ways to add it. Eventually, maybe this side of the shop is going to be turned into something because I'm already thinking of things I'm going to order next year. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, that's it. Max effort upper now. Time to get fit. Sick. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Theo. Dude, remember when I hit my head on this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so hard. That was perfect. All right, big dog, come on. Tight, tight from the beginning, come on.
Yeah, easy, easy. Do these all day. Let's go. Let's go. Leo. Leo. I love you, Bubba's. <laughs> I'm off our Rajas Monster. Be excited. I'm not excited. No, like, say it with your face. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. I'm so excited. Dallas has got to leave the session early, so he's making me wrap up the video. That's the end of the video. <laughs> I don't know, hope you guys liked all the new stuff we got from Rogue. Like I said, the Open's coming up. We got some really exciting stuff coming, so pumped for you guys to see it. But shout out to you guys. Thanks for watching. See y'all next week.